The first of our projects today is making a Basquiat animal. So we're going to start things off by um, looking at I, like, what, what I'm doing right here is I'm using uh, a toy horse to look at and then draw it. It's easier than it seems. You really just got to look at it and s try to draw what you see. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. We're not going for an exact replica of our toy. We're just trying to get a sense of the horse. So I'm putting in all the features, the eyes, the nose, um, you know, working on the ears. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to go over my lines. And um, to do that, I'm going to use a Sharpie. I could have used um, a Crayola marker, but for this video, I thought it'd be easier for you guys if I used a Sharpie. Also, it's just easier for me to use it. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going over my lines. I'm not worried about getting you know, getting my marker exactly over my pencil lines. I'm not bothered by that. Um, I'm just trying to uh, go over all of my lines. And, um, you know, I can't forget the crown, so I, I, I make a W and then the sides and bottom of the crown. And I go over that with a Sharpie too. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over that line. I'm going to kind of outline my Sharpie line. Um, I'm doing this because looking at Basquiat's work, that's what it looks like he does. He kind of goes over things sometimes, especially if there's something that's important. He seems to highlight things. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm thinking about things that, you know, make a horse a horse. A horse eats hay. So I'm going to write hay a few times and the hay goes in its mouth. So I'm going to put some lines there. That seems easy enough. Now, uh, some horses are spotted. Mine isn't, but I really like spotted horses. But instead of spots, I'm making stars. Why am I making, why am I doing that? Well, I don't know. It's kind of because I think my horse is a star. So why not write that on the page? And, you know, I've already written hay a few times. And so now I'm writing, hey, my horse is a star. And I'm going over my marker lines. I'm just sort of just outlining my, my letters a little bit with a pencil. Now what I'm doing is I am making some geometric shapes and some designs. It's, I'm, I'm trying to um, fill in parts of the white uh, parts of the paper with just colors and designs. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, you know, just something kind of vibrant and uh, cool looking, whatever that means to you. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm not really, when I'm doing stuff like that, I'm not really thinking of anything. I'm just making some pictures. And so, but I wanna go back to words. A horse gallops, so I wrote that, I turned the page sideways, and when a horse gallops, it means the horse is running. So I also wrote run, why not? I'm also gonna fill in, uh, give, give the horse some color and my horse isn't really orange, but you know, like that's the cool thing about art. You can make things any color you want. So my horse is orange and the tail and mane are blue. That seems normal. It's my, it's my normal horse. And you know, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm going back and filling in certain things um, just to give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more design, a little bit more character. So if you don't have a toy um, of the animal you want to do, you can look for a picture of an animal. Here I have a picture of a squirrel uh, from an art book, and I'm going to use that to, uh, to look at uh, while I draw my uh, squirrel. If some of you have problems drawing directly from a toy, sometimes looking at a picture is a little bit easier. Um, it just, it, it, um, you know, because you're, you're looking at a flat surface and you're drawing on a flat surface, that can be, um, that can be a little bit easier. So I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to draw the squirrel as, as, as it looks in the, in the picture. Again, I'm not so worried if it doesn't look exactly like it.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list. So sometimes that's easy for me. I'm going to like things that are, uh, that are what a squirrel is. A squirrel lives in trees. A squirrel likes peanuts. A squirrel is cute. So I'm going to have that list next to me. So I remember to include those things in my picture. First, I'm going to go over my lines again, just like I did in the horse drawing. Uh, this time I'm going to use a crayon. Um, and, you know, again, you don't have to use the exact colors that you see. I mean, unless you ever have seen a purple squirrel, you know, maybe, maybe you have. Who's to say? Give that tail a little bit of color. Purple tail. It seems good to have an orange squirrel. So now I'm going to, instead of writing peanuts, I'm just going to draw some peanuts because I think I can, I think I can draw peanuts and make it look like a peanut. You know, squirrels, squirrels are all about that tree life. So draw that. And I can't forget the squirrels are cute, so I don't really know uh, a better way to, to, to show that it's cute other than, you know, making a cute face and writing the word cute. So I'm writing chomp chomp because he's, he's eating a peanut right there. Thought that'd be kind of funny. And just like the, just like the horse drawing, I'm going to add some color to my drawing, sort of try to fill in that composition. I don't really want a lot of white space in my, in my Basquiat animals. I know it's hard to see, but I did fill in those peanuts with color. And now I'm just adding stars, you know, just as more of like a design element. Got to make an arrow showing like what's cute. I mean, if I didn't have an arrow, who's to say what would be cute or not? Guys, I think we need a crown break. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a Basquiat crown that you can actually wear. What I'm doing is I have a piece of cardboard and I'm drawing a crown on it and I'm using oil pastels. Um, if you don't have them, that's okay. I just, I, I really like them on, um, on cardboard and it's just really fun. So I draw the crown and I'm going over it again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it in with color. It can be anything. And if you didn't want to add color, you could add, um, uh, collage elements. You could find pictures, glue them on there, um, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. I just, I wanted to have something that was, uh, you know, just a, just a, just fun, vibrant colors. Um, you know, because I'm there, it's my crown. And it's just, you know, I'm just adding, uh, you know, as I see it, I have no plan, no rhyme or reason when I'm doing this. I'm just adding some color. And um, now you cut it out. If, you, um, if you're unsure of this, um, you can ask your grown-up to help you cut it out. Sometimes cutting out cardboard can be a little tricky. This cardboard I'm using is really thin, so it's really easy for me to use. And it's just some scrap cardboard I had. Nothing fancy. Now this is a, th this is a tricky part. Um, I have to poke some holes in it. I don't have a hole punch, so I'm carefully using a pencil and I'm just pressing it through. I can do this because, remember, my cardboard is thin. Um, then you just take some string, or uh, in this case, I'm just using some t-shirt yarn and two pieces, and you want to tie it, uh, you know, tight to each side. And then when you're all ready, you got yourself a crown. 
Now we're going to move on to uh, the portrait part of this video and we're going to learn how to make a Basquiat portrait. Pause the video here if you want to see all the different head features. So this guide that I have next to me is if you don't want to look at a, a picture of yourself or if you don't want to look in a mirror, you can kind of come up with your, uh, with your portrait of yourself by sort of picking and choosing uh, uh, features from this menu. So I picked a head shape, uh, eyes and a nose, and uh, I got to pick a mouth here. So it looks like I'll just, I'll, I'm going to put in this one. And then once I have that all down, I mean, it's really funny looking. Uh, and I'm going to go over my lines with a Sharpie. Uh, again, I'm not so worried if I, if I don't go exactly over my pencil lines. If there's one thing you should know about this is that we don't have to worry about being too exact when we're making these portraits. And then once I have that, I'm going to cut it out. Um, I did not have space on my paper for the ear or the hair. That's okay, because I'm actually going to use this drawing as a collage element on a larger piece of paper. So um, that's okay for, 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 for me. Um, so if you, if you run into that, just know that, you know, you can always cut it out and paste it onto something else. The paper that I'm going to glue the head to is actually just a brown paper bag and I tore it up so I could get the like the two big sides of it and I want to make them into a square so I'm taping them together um, I'm gonna tape them on the front and I'm also gonna tape it on the back just so that it doesn't come apart um, and then I can glue my head directly onto the page now whenever I glue something in a collage like this I'm always mindful to put glue on the whole surface. That way I can ensure that it won't come up at any point while I'm working on it. So I'm gonna put the head in the middle. Now I can add the ear that I lost um, because my paper was too small before. So I'm just gonna cut out a shape of what I think an ear is and I'm gonna glue it onto there. Um, And I'm going to, I'm going to continue that outline look by just kind of, so I'm just going to add that right there. Now, when I'm doing a self portrait, this doesn't really look like me. So I got to try to come up with three things, at least three things that, you know, if you saw me, you know, if you saw these things, you would know it's me. So three things about me. I like art. I like backyard birds and I have two black cats. So, you know, those three things, I feel if I include them, you'll get a sense that it's me. You know, I forgot to add my glasses, so I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and add add some glasses there. That seems about that seems about right. And I have, I'm going to add some hair. I'm going to add hair, like, you know, my, my morning hair, my, when I, after I wake up. Now I have, uh, in my studio, I've got some pictures of like old art that we've done together. Um, and I like this idea of adding, adding some pictures on old art. Um, I think that that's kind of fun. So I didn't use the flowers, but I did use some crumpled paper paintings and I drew Catherine and Steve uh, onto there. And those to me, like, to my eyes, those look like Catherine and Steve, my cats. Um, so I got those down there. And now I'm going to add color to my face. Uh, I can add any color that I want. I can add all the colors if I want. And I'm a pretty colorful person, my personality. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to add a bunch of colors. In any way that makes sense to me.
it's funny that when you add color that you know things really start to pop like that mouth I like that I like that mouth I'm gonna add a little swirl in the ear like I got ringing in my ear another thing I forgot to add to my list is I like to sing so I can add that right now I'm just gonna add like a little word bubble and I'm going to write uh, fa-la-la. That's singing, right? Fa-la-la-la-la-la-la. Give that a nice little outline. Fill in the eyes. If I don't like that color, I can switch a color. I don't, oh, I forgot eyebrows. Those are important. I think it's also good if I added a crown, if I gave myself a little Basquiat crown. So I make my W and then I make the sides of it. And I'm gonna go over it again. And, uh, you know, just fill it in. Got a nice gold crown. Little extra jazz right there. Now, I'm, as I'm looking at my hair, that to me doesn't really look like hair, but I could turn it into paintbrushes, like wavy paintbrushes instead of hair. I mean, it's my, it's my drawing. I can make it as funny or silly as I want. And um, so I'm just, I'm making them into paintbrushes uh, with some paint dripping off of them. Uh, the, the added bonus here is that... Um, you know, it, the, 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 the dripping paint gives it a little bit of, uh, of a design element, um, into, you know, onto the, onto the rest of the, of, of the paper. So, um, I mean, it do, does it look like a, like a real paintbrush? No, but you know, sometimes art is magical and you can turn anything you want into whatever you want. So... In this case, I'm giving myself paintbrushes for hair. If you have any tempera paints, uh, tempera paints are really good on paper. And so um, what I'm doing is I just mixed up a little blue and white and I am painting uh, the, the, the bare spots of my um, of my paper bag to give it uh, to give it a color to give it um, give it a little bit of design you know like a like a like a compositional design element and um, you know it's it's really fun I, I don't have to do just blue I can sort of decide to stop at any time and I can switch colors now I've just mixed up some red and white and now I've got some pink and I'm not going over my oil pastels. I'm kind of going around it. And, um, you know, it's, I, I kind of like that rough look. I feel like it's really, it's very Basquiat esque and it gives, um, you know, it start, it's starting to give my portrait, uh, some flavor. Uh, it's given it a little bit of jazz and and I like it. This is this is really really fun for me. Um, you know, you can add you can add the paint. You know, like around the face. You can um, you can add paint. You know, to the face or to any of the features uh, as as you as you see fit. Like here, I'm going over the eyes a little bit to kind of give a little definition between my eyes and the glasses. Now I have uh, just some black paint. And rather than using the oil pastels, uh, I'm, I'm writing in paint. Um, for right, right by Steve here, I'm writing cool cat with a little arrow. Catherine is also a cool cat, so, you know, I might as well label her. Not, you, you don't have to label everything in your picture, but sometimes it's fun. And if, if Steve and Catherine are cool cats, well, 
then I think I'm a cool cat too. So I might as well label myself. Now I'm just kind of going around since I've got the black paint and I've got a paintbrush. I'm just adding a little bit more uh, textural elements, um, kind of going around, uh, you know, kind of giving myself two different hairstyles. Now I've got the paint brushes and now I've got uh, some zigzags. You can have two hairstyles at once. Why not? Um, you know, I forgot about the bird. I wrote on that piece of paper that I like birds, but I didn't add a bird. So just with a little blue paint, I'm painting a little bird in the corner. You know, put a bird on it. I think for the beak, I'll just use some oil, an oil pastel. And I'm adding Milwaukee on there just, just because, because this is where we live. And, you know, I figured why not. I'm also, I, I, that the, the, the top right corner seemed a little bare. So I'm writing, uh, art three times. Like I'm giving myself an art attack. Ha <laughs> ha. Basquiat liked to sort of give uh, like stitches on places, kind of like stitching two different um, design elements together. Um, so that's what I just did down there. Um, sometimes I like to go back and outline things. And I'll stitch that, I'll stitch that bird on there too. And it's almost done, but I feel, I feel like I needed just a little bit more paint. So I'm just going with straight white and, um, adding a little bit. And here it is. I think it really came together. In case uh, that last segment made you want to paint, but you don't have temper paints, I'm gonna show you how you could do it in um, just using watercolors. So here I'm giving a wash of water to the paper so that I can go back in with paint and do a wet on wet technique. And what I'm doing here is I'm just adding color. There's no, I, I just kind of want like a nice background color. Um, so, you know, you can pick between, you know, two and three, maybe even four colors for, uh, for a background color. Now, before I do any more work on here, I will have to let this dry. So, you know, just be, just be patient. Okay. And when the whole thing is colored in like that, you can even add like a little extra jazz by carefully giving uh, a little bit of sprinkle. Um, you see what I'm doing with my finger there? I'm sort of just gently tapping the brush against my finger. And it kind of gives a nice little element to it. So now that it's dry, I can, with a pencil, uh, start to draw on it. And uh, I just sort of picked, uh, you know, some Basquiat shapes. Uh, can't forget the crown. And in this case, in, instead of, uh, well, I'm just sort of, you know, I'm just having fun here. I'm going to go over it with, uh, with a Sharpie. I can do that because I, the, the paper's dry. So that's cool. quite a mouth. 
got some fun hair. And I'm going to go over it again doing the Basquiat technique of sort of outlining my lines. I'm using a crayon and I'm going over my Sharpie lines. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some color to it. Um, again, really any color. I'm just sort of picking what feels good to me in the moment. And if I do that on a portrait of myself, I feel like then that's good enough. I've decided that my hair today is spiky and purple. Why not? And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do the face. I'm not going to paint it all one color. Uh, I like to sort of give a little two-tone effect. Um, I think that's kind of, it's kind of a nice look. Well, I'm really remarkable in my, in the looks department. Now I'm going to go over with, um, with oil pastel. I waited for this to dry. Um, give myself some nice blue teeth. And, you know, I don't want a floating, I don't want floating head syndrome. So I'm going to draw, there's not a lot of room, but I'm going to make a body. And, um, you know, if we were in regular school, if we were in the building, you'd see me walking around with my apron. So that, if I add the apron here, uh, it'll look more like me, I think. And that to me, that, that looks like me. There we go. Art. I made this fun one using a little bit of wrapping paper, uh, because it was lunchtime. I thought that was fun. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So I really look forward to seeing what you come up with making your Basquiat animals and portraits.